to the Tactical Historian, and I hope you enjoyed those uh, first two episodes, one with Jim Burroughs, a real coast watcher from World War II. It's a real honor to talk to someone like that. And of course, Peter Lush, great privilege to talk to him as well, to discuss the St. Nazaire Raid, which is either the greatest raid or one of the greatest raids in all military history. So that's always a great topic, and hopefully we're going to bring Peter Lush on again to answer some questions anyone might have to further talk about the St. Nazaire Raid. So that'll be really cool. Um, but I wanted to mix it up a bit, you know, while we have a lot of interviews coming up, we've got interviews with a member of the French Foreign Legion who served in Afghanistan. Uh, we've got stuff coming up on the Rhodesian Bush War. Uh, we've even got stuff on the Golden Age of Piracy. So there's a lot of cool stuff coming up. But I thought I'd mix it up and have some shorter videos to uh, record my ramblings on military and uh, police and essentially tactical history, but also talk about collecting, because collecting military seems to be a very popular topic these days. Um, one of the things that people tend to collect, I notice especially if of people who are in the law enforcement slash uh, military communities, uh, they definitely collect coins, challenge coins. And so I'm going to talk about this tradition of coins and challenge coins and and some of the stories of where these coins came from and what is a challenge coin and what is the challenge. <laughs> um, so I, I thought we'd discuss that. So where did the story of these challenge coins come from? So the idea is that some say that these coins came from the Roman days where a Roman legionnaire, if he did very well, his officer or commander would take a gold coin, put it in his hand, shake that soldier's hand and give him that coin as sort of recognition for his service. Uh, another story is that uh, pilots during World War I would carry coins in their pockets to identify themselves in case they crash landed behind enemy lines and they had to speak to resistance fighters and so on and so forth. Again, both of these are stories that I've heard told to me about the origins of these coins, but maybe there are other people out there who know the true origins or might know other stories, so please share that in the comments below. So what is a challenge coin today? Well, in most instances, a challenge coin is something that, in military circles, is something that a high-ranking officer, so a battalion commander, sometimes a general, will have a bunch of these in his pocket, and he will take the time to recognize a soldier's good service or good deed, and he will give them a coin, okay? Um, I've even seen, you know, Command Sergeant Major is doing the same thing or something similar, okay? Um, but it's not just for that. There's also pretty much every organization I've seen has sort of adopted the challenge coin. So you'll see challenge coins uh, being handed out by members of different organizations. So some people in law enforcement, each precinct might have their own challenge coin. Um, different units, so each unit in the military might have their own challenge coin. So there are multiple ways you can get them. You know, you don't have to be a soldier and just do a good deed. Uh, and get one given to you by one of the, you know, com by your commander. Uh, you can also probably go to different organizations, different units, um, different precincts in law enforcement, right, and get a coin uh, from their sort of shop. Because pretty much every unit, whether it's law enforcement or military, has some sort of coin, okay? So we have a couple examples of that here. And just to show you that all coins have taken a life of their own. Uh, not all of them are going to be traditionally shaped. So, for example, here's an example for you here. So this is a more traditional coin that I've mentioned, okay? This coin was given to me by the battalion commander of the Fighting 69th, the 69th of New York. That was the National Guard outfit that I served in for six years. And uh, it was given to me um, during drill one time. Uh, I still remember it. We were, the battalion commander came down to the companies to talk to the soldiers. And suddenly he's standing there, he's surrounded by all the other soldiers, and he starts saying, you know, where's, where's Hosa, Hosa, Hosa? And everyone starts calling my name out, and I thought, oh, darn, what have I done? I am in trouble if the battalion commander wants to see me. I have definitely screwed up. And when I got to the front of the pack, uh, he presented me with this coin. So it actually wasn't a bad day. It turned out to be a very good day. Uh, this is one of my most prized coins in my collection because it was awarded to me um, from the battalion commander of the 69th at the time. Uh, what's really cool is that it says on here, presented for excellence by the commander and command sergeant major. And it's got uh, on the back, it has the 69th's motto and some of their campaigns listed on the back. 
and uh, it's a really cool coin to have. I know guys in the regiment who are more proud to have one of these coins than they are to get an Army Achievement Medal, okay? Which I, I think some people say this is the equivalent of receiving an Army Achievement Medal sometimes. So uh, this is a really cool thing to have, and it's a great example of that, you know, uh, being given one as an award, you know, recognition for some sort of service. Now, um, but as you can see, not all these coins take uh, the traditional shape. Some of them, as you can see, this one is uh, the NYPD uh, shotgun team, and they have theirs shaped as an actual shotgun shell. Uh, this is a the NYPD's um, firearms and tactics section. And theirs is actually shaped as a bullet, as you can see. Very neat as well. So, uh, and then of course the 69th, if you don't have the battalion commander's coin from the 69th, you can also get a regular 69th coin, which is shaped as a shamrock. And it's got the crest on the back. It's got the fighting 69th on the front here. And it is a bottle opener, which is really cool. And these are very popular. I usually try to carry a couple of these in my pocket. So if you see me and I have these, you might get one. So that's really cool too. Um, I'll leave a link actually in the description to the guy who makes these because these are really cool to have, especially if you're a fan of the 69th. A couple others to mention. This is a coin from my basic training class, Echo 254. Uh, as you can see, keep calm, follow me. And this also too is a bottle opener, another popular choice. Here is another coin that I have that is actually from Camp Simba at Manda Bay, Kenya, Command Joint Task Force at Horn of Africa. And this was a really cool coin that was given to me by a member of the famous SWIC uh, units. And I also was down there with a Navy SEAL, and that was actually when I was really, really young, and I was living in Kenya and had the privilege to go do stuff like that. And it was the first time that I actually fired a rifle well, excuse me, it was the M4 carbine, I believe, that I got to fire, and that was, no, as a young kid in high school, that was an amazing thing. Um, and then this is another interesting coin that I could talk about as well, which is actually a 100th anniversary coin, and inside of it is coal that was brought back from the Titanic, and it's a 100th anniversary of the Titanic here. So that's another really kind of neat coin that uh, is a piece of history in and of itself. So. If you want to collect these coins, uh, you can probably find these coins. Uh, if you're in the military, uh, usually when you talk to your buddies, you know you can you can trade coins back and forth, carry a bunch of coins from your unit, and I'm sure you'll when you go to other units and work with people from other units, you'll be able to trade coins. If you're in law enforcement, carry a bunch of uh, precinct coins, and you can trade them with other agencies or with other precincts. It's a great way. It's great camaraderie. It's a great trading thing. Nice thing to collect and. As you can see, a lot of the time, uh, each coin has a story, right? Because usually uh, you get coins from working with other agencies, with other units. And so you can talk about the times you shared with those people when you share these coins. Now, big question, I guess, finally is, what's the challenge? Why are they called challenge coins? Well, traditionally is that when you're at the bar, you always carry your coins on you or a coin on you. And what'll happen is while everyone's you know, having their drinks and stuff, someone might pick up their coin and throw it on the table. And when they throw it on the table, that's the challenge. And everyone else has to take out the coins from their pocket and throw it on the table. Now, if you don't have a coin to throw on the table, if you forgot your coin, well, the next round's on you. And that's the challenge. So, you know, get a coin. It's a fun game to play with your friends. And of course, it's a great conversation starter. So after the drinks are flowing, you can then actually look at each and everyone's coin and talk about, oh, why do you carry that coin? And where is this coin from? And wow, that's really interesting. Um, so another interesting thing there is that if some people like to go a little harder than I do. They're a little more hardcore than I am. I think that that's enough for the challenge. But some people say that if everyone throws their coins on the table and no one doesn't have a coin, well, then it goes by rank. So if you have a coin, for example, my coin was awarded to me by a battalion commander. But if someone were to throw a coin down that was from a two-star general, well then they win the challenge and I actually owe them the drinks. So uh, that's another hardcore way to do it. I'm not that way. Uh, I think that if you have your coin, you're good to go. So hey, this is another thing you can collect. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. 
Um, check us out on Instagram. And hey, if you haven't started already, go out there and collect coins.